Hello and welcome in this video. In this video, we will learn node selection in 4G. As we learned before, in order for the UE to be able to send data to the BDN and to receive data from the BDN, the UE shall make two procedures. The first procedure is the attach procedure, and the second procedure is the EBS peer establishment procedure. During the attach procedure, the NOB shall select an MME that shall serve this UE. And during the EBS peer establishment procedure, the MME shall select an SGW and a BGW that shall serve this UE. So let's see how this occurs. First, during the attach procedure, the UE sends an attach request message to the NOB in order to attach to the network. This attach request message contains the identifier of this UE. This identifier may be the GUTI of the UE, or if the GUTI is not available, it will be the MZ of the UE. So that if the UE sends its GUTI to the NOB as its identifier, the NOB will be able to extract the MME identifier that was serving this UE during the last session. This is because this identifier is part of the GUTI that is provided from the UE so that the NOB selects the MME that was serving this UE during the last session in order to serve this UE in this session as well. This is because this MME is having the mobility management context of this UE that contains the MZ of the UE and UE subscription information of this UE in addition to the authentication vector of this UE so that the MME will not need to retrieve this data again from the HSS. This will save us time and will save us the signaling sent and received to and from the HSS. So what if the UE did not send its GUTI as its identifier and sent its MZ instead? In this case, the NOB will use the configuration locally applied to it in order to select the MME. The configuration that is applied to the NOB contains the default MME that this NOB shall connect to. So now, let's see during the EBS peer establishment procedure how the MME selects the SGW and the BGW that shall serve this UE. During the EBS peer establishment procedure, the MME uses the UE location, which is the tag that the UE currently exists in, in order to select the SGW and it uses the ABN that the UE shall connect to in order to select the BGW. This is done in coordination with the DNS. The MME sends the UE location of the UE to the DNS, asking the DNS to provide the MME with the SGW IP address that shall serve this UE. And the MME sends the ABN that the UE shall connect to, to the DNS, asking the DNS to provide the MME with the BGW IP address of the BGW that shall serve this UE. So the MME uses the UE location in order to select the SGW, and it uses the ABN that the UE shall connect to in order to select the BGW. So what is the hostess file? The hostess file is a locally configured file on the MME that contains the same entries of the DNS. The MME can locally query this hostess file in order to select the SGW and the BGW so that the MME will not need to send a query to the DNS and wait for a reply from the DNS. This will save us time and will save us the signaling that are sent and received to and from the DNS. So in summary, during the attach procedure, the NOB selects the MME that shall serve the UE according to the GUTI that is received from the UE or according to the local configuration applied to the NOB. And during the EBS peer establishment procedure, the MME selects the SGW according to the UE location and the MME selects the BGW according to the ABN that the UE shall connect to. Thank you and see you in the next video.